Welcome back to McNulty's Book Corral. Today we're talking about a special book and a special film. We're talking about Posse from Hell by Claire Huffaker, which was uh, published in the 1950s and made into a 1961 film starring Audie Murphy. Audie Murphy passed away on this date in 1971, and so I thought I'd offer a little remembrance of the great Audie Murphy. I am a huge fan of Audie Murphy and the author Claire Huffaker, who also wrote the screenplay. Claire Huffaker was born in 1926, and I believe he passed away in 1990. had a little note here uh, to look that up. Um, the copy of the book I have is uh, a mid-70s uh, copy. Uh, this book has been widely reprinted. Claire Huffaker wrote many, many wonderful westerns. I think his most... Um, Famous ones would be this one. Um, I think he wrote one called Bad Men, which was made into uh, a film called The War Wagon, which is also a great film. He also wrote the book and screenplay for Audie Murphy's Seven Ways from Sundown uh, and several others. He also wrote some teleplays for television and so forth. Uh, wonderful writer. I think I've read most everything that he's done as far as his Western novels, and I think they're great. Uh, my favorite is Posse from Hell. Um, book and film. Here's a DVD of Posse from Hell, and then here again is my is the book. So there are some noticeable differences between the the book and the film. Uh, again, Huffaker wrote the screenplay from his own novel. Um, John Saxon is one of the co-stars in here. We have Vic Morrow as a uh, Crip uh, and uh, one of the bad guys. And uh, uh, this is really one of my favorite Audie Murphy films uh, and he's a guy who made a lot of westerns that I'm really quite fond of. I have a lot of favorite Audie Murphy films. This one from uh, 1961 um, I think is a little underrated. Uh, John Saxon is just fantastic alongside Audie Murphy in this movie and uh, it's a film that you should, you should seek out and watch if you haven't seen uh, Posse from Hell starring Audie Murphy. Um, again, there are some noticeable differences between the film and the book. The uh, the differences um, don't really affect the film in a negative way. I think the, the book is great. I think it's a great book. It's one of my favorite westerns. Um, I think that the movie is one of my favorite westerns. So, you know, there's not a, a really a lot of negativity, even though there's some differences between uh, the plot and the uh, the film. They're really slight differences. Some things happen to some characters in the film that don't happen in the book, and so forth. And there is a, a distinction between how Audie Murphy's character comes into the film. I'm not going to reveal too much about the plot. Um, I think it is a... Um, let's just keep with the book for a moment. I think the book is fascinating because the end of it um, really goes into a little bit about... Um, the character uh, at the end of the book, which is similar to the film, but not quite the same. Uh, the uh, the book gives more detail on his thinking about the uh, the sheriff who is killed early in the film. Uh, I can tell you that much, and um, who had been his mentor. And uh, the town is uh, populated by some people that are per not, perhaps not um, as motivated as Audie Murphy's character is uh, in the book and uh, in the film. And uh, so there's this uh, this distance between the two. And yet, to push forward and do the right thing is a major theme here. Um, the end of the film, uh, you know, touches upon this just slightly when they go to visit the grave of the sheriff, who, again, is killed. Uh, so a bit of a spoiler here. Um, and uh, uh, the book handles it again in more detail, gives you a lot of motivation. Really unusual for the time. It doesn't tie it off in a nice, neat bow. Uh, lets you infer things from the ending. Both the film and the book have that at the end where you're going to infer what happened. Uh, it's a tough, tight, really well-written book. And uh, again, this is one of my favorite westerns. Uh, and Claire Huffaker, again, like Audie Murphy, made a lot that I really like. So, uh, for those of you that are interested in book-to-film, um, Audie Murphy is uh, hard to ignore in Westerns. You know, obviously, Audie Murphy was uh, America's most decorated soldier during World War II. And, you know, I've read quite a few reports about Audie Murphy, and he was 
uh, once he became a movie actor, James Cagney was the one that brought him to Hollywood. Um, he worked very hard to be a good actor. Uh, he took lessons and uh, with uh, acting coaches and dialogue coaches, uh, and he wanted to be as good an actor uh, as he was a soldier, and he's on record as having said that. Um, he was immensely popular during his lifetime. Uh, there was always uh, some people that didn't quite like him in films. His boyish looks worked against him with certain elements in the audience. Um, he wasn't the the big, tough, uh, burly He-Man like John Wayne and so forth, or the rugged-looking Westerner like Randolph Scott. But if you watch films like this, you can see uh, that he was a splendid, really splendid actor. Uh, and he perfectly embodies the character um, in this from this novel. So I'm recommending um, both the book and the film, uh, Posse from Hell by Claire Huffaker, and the 1961 film starring the late, great Audie Murphy. A tribute to him. And so, until next time, my friends, I'll see you along the dusty trail. Thank <laughs> you.